Ready for your curse, honey? I'm scared. <laughs> Remember, mine was just that I couldn't eat candy. And after you kiss your soulmate, your curse goes away. So once you kissed mommy, you could eat candy? Yep. She would be so proud of you. I miss her. Me too. <gasps> you can't tell anyone about your curse. Alina, meet your new stepmother. Shake my hand. Don't just stand there. She needs to learn manners. This is my daughter, Gretel. Ooh, I love your necklace. You should just give it to me. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> well, that sucks for you. It's mine now. You're going on a business trip for five months? You'll be fine. No, you cannot leave me alone with these two bi- Stop. Hold your tongue. You were not about to call them that. Uh. Okay, let it go. Look, by the time I come back, you'll probably have met your soulmate and your curse will be broken. I highly doubt that. So, have you kissed your soulmate? No, I... I haven't. I think my soulmate's the prince. I'll be kissing him soon. Good for you. So, what's your curse? I'm actually not really allowed to say. Literally, just say it. My gosh. I have to do everything that I'm told. Mother, did you hear that? You're joking. <laughs> hmm. Pat your shoulder. <gasps> Mother, she wasn't kidding. Pull your hair. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you guys, this curse is not a joke. You can't just stop talking. From now on, you're going to do exactly as we say. Pour me some more tea. Give me a back massage. Buy us some milk and hurry. I'm back. The milk is in the fridge. What's up with you? Nothing. Alina, tell us why you're happy. Go on, speak. When I was at the market, I saw the prince, and I'm pretty sure he's my soulmate and he can break my curse. What? How do you know the prince is your soulmate? Tell us. We know you can't resist. Someone told me to go find my soulmate, and after they said that, I went straight to the prince and held his hand. And what exactly did he say to you? He told me he wanted to see me again, but then his guards came and they didn't let me talk to him anymore. Of course they wouldn't let you talk to him. You're a peasant, and he's a prince. Mother, you told me the prince was my soulmate. He's supposed to kiss me and break my curse, not hers. Remember, she has to do everything she's told. So we'll just tell her. You are forbidden to ever kiss the prince. No. Alina, get the door. Alina. Your Highness. I just had to see you again. I had my guards find out where you live. Listen, I need your help with my curse. My stepmother, she's controlling- Your Highness! Hi! Ignore her. She's our maid. You're not their maid, right? Of course she is. Tell him you're our maid. I'm their maid. Listen, I need to speak to Alina alone. But your Highness... You heard the prince, stepmother. He wants to speak to me alone. Of course. Just don't listen to a word he tells you. So you need help breaking your curse? What? Alina, listen to me. You need me to break your curse. Right, yes, my curse. You still haven't told me what it is. But it doesn't matter, because I'm almost positive I'm your soulmate. So, I should just... You are forbidden to ever kiss the prince. Oh. Okay, well, that... that hurt. I'm so sorry. You don't want me to kiss you? No, I didn't mean to do that. I forgot that I wasn't allowed to... Look, it's alright. Maybe we just aren't soulmates after all. Maybe we're not soulmates. No, your highness, wait. My curse, it's... You can't tell anyone about your curse. It's what? I can't tell you unless you tell me to say it. I'm such an idiot. Your curse, it's to do everything you're told, isn't it? Yes. Wait, but then why did you slap me? You are forbidden to ever kiss the prince. Oh. You have to tell me to kiss you. Oh, okay. Well, then, um... Oh. Stepmother, you just knocked out the prince. Yes, I did. And with any luck, he'll wake up with amnesia and forget all about you. You can't do that. Yes, I can. And you both are getting locked down here. Go to sleep. No. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, Alina? Alina, wake up. Hey. Alina, kiss me. Tell me to do something. Uh, jump up and down. Hey. It worked. I'm free. Yes, we're soulmates. Your Highness, we received your distress signal. Let go of us, you fools! Alina, attack the guards! Yeah, that's not gonna work anymore. <gasps> no, you kissed the prince? Yeah, I did, and it was really nice. Also, I'll <gasps> be taking this back. 
You know I loved you, right, Alina? Goodbye, stepmother. Wait! No! Sorry, ladies. Alina is making her own choices now. Gummy, 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 gummy. Stop playing. Gummy! Playing is against the law. You're lucky no one saw you, or else you would have been killed. Catch! Let's play! We're not allowed. We'll get killed. That's only if they see us. No one's around. Okay. Catch! Catch! <laughs> Catch! Catch! Were you girls playing? No, I wasn't. It was just her throwing the ball. I wasn't playing. No, she was playing too. No, I wasn't. No, Poppy, you're not allowed to play. No playing. Why do you have a ball? No, Poppy, you're not allowed to play. No playing. Why do you have a ball? Were you playing? I wasn't playing. I was just teaching the puppy not to play. Good work, kid. I'll kill the dog. No! Brianna, we're all going to hang out after school. Are you coming? A hangout? Are you crazy? Relax. We're all just going to talk and study. There's going to be no games or playing. Okay. Hey, we should all play spin the bottle. No! I thought we were just going to study. We're not allowed to play. What, are you scared? Are you a chicken? No, I just don't want to die. All right, I'll go first. I can't believe you're actually doing this. Look at that. The bottle landed on you. That is not happening. Were you playing a game? No, I wasn't. It was Brianna's idea. Beach, what's this? It's a new thing started by the government. You're given a certain amount of words a day, and you must use all of them, or else. Well, I only have 18 words today. That shouldn't be hard to use. Brianna, how many words do you need to use today? 18. Wow, you're so lucky. I got 5,000 words I have to use today, so I have to talk super fast and I have to use lots and lots of words. Talk, 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 talk. I can't stop talking, can't stop talking. The day's almost done. Did you use all your words? Yes. These are my last words, too. Oh, no, 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 I got 100,000 words to use today. How can I use all those words? You'll have to try your best. Hey, Brianna, what are you doing? I don't understand. I only had 55 words. Now I have so many. What's wrong with your voice? I lost my voice talking so much yesterday. I won't be able to use all my words. No, no, you can do it. You can. I can hardly talk. I want to switch my words back. Hello? The government? Are you there? God? Let's see. Keep on trying to talk. The day is not over yet. I... I can't. Bestie, I'm so sorry. I will. It's okay. It's not your fault. I heard from your best friend's mom she passed away. She couldn't use all her words. Are you okay? What is more useful when it is broken? It's an egg. It has to be an egg. No way. It's a glow stick. Say glow stick. So which is it? An egg. A glow stick. If I don't get this right, I'm going to die. The final decision is yours to make. An egg. Correct answer. An egg. Mom, I'm home. No, I got a riddle. You need to read it out loud. What is always in front of you but can't be seen? Right in front of you, but you can't see it. Air, it has to be air. It's always right in front of you, but nobody can see it. The answer, air. Incorrect. Correct answer, the future. Mommy's gone. I, I really thought I was right. <laughs> I got a riddle again. What can fly but has no wings? I I don't know. I don't want to be wrong again. Please help. I can only live if there's light, but I die if a light shines on me. A shadow. A shadow. Correct answer. A shadow. Bye, Mom. I'm off to school. Sissy, I got a riddle. Hurry. Read it to me. What can run but can't walk? A turkey? No. Don't say turkey. Final answer. 
It's a river. It's a river. Are you sure? I think so. A river. Correct answer. A river. Oh no. I just got a riddle. Hurry, read it out loud. We can all help you. What has 21 eyes but can't see? 21 eyes but can't see. Come on, give him suggestions. I don't know. I know the answer. It's 10 and a half blind people. Incorrect. Correct answer, a dice. Oh no, I got another riddle. What can fly but has no wings? I don't know, I don't want to be wrong again. Please help. Final answer. A ghost, say ghost. Okay, No. Go it's time. Are you sure? Yes. The answer is time. Correct answer, time. I hate this game. I don't want to play. Sissy, you need to be strong, okay? Quitting isn't an option. I just got a riddle. What is always spelt wrong? That's an easy one. The answer is wrong. Wrong is always spelt wrong. Wrong? No, it can't be that simple. But what if it is? The answer is wrong. Correct answer, wrong. I just got a riddle. Hurry, Grandma, read it. What can clap with no hands? Clap with no hands? You're behind. No. I can only live if there's light, but I die if a light shines on me. A shadow, a shadow. Correct answer, a shadow. Bye, Mom, I'm off to school. Sissy, I got a riddle. Hurry, read it to me. What can run but can't walk? A turkey? No, don't say turkey. Final answer. It's a river. It's a river. Are you sure? I think so. A river. Correct answer. A river. Oh no. I just got a riddle. Hurry. Read it out loud. We can all help you. What has 21 eyes but can't see? 21 eyes but can't see. Come on. Give him suggestions. I don't know. I know the answer. It's 10 and a half blind people. Incorrect. Correct answer. A dice. Oh no, I got another riddle. Let's play a game. Selected. Why would you do that? One of us is going to die now. Yes, but one of us is going to get money. What game are we playing? A game of odds. Heads or tails? Tails. All right, I choose heads then. Oh no, it's tails. Uh, a redo? Just the granola bar? Yes. How much? Let's play a game. Selected. What game? Go fish. The ten of hearts? Go fish. Joker. What? How did you know? You're a cheater! Um, I'm home. Sissy, let's play a game. Selected. No, you can't say those words. Sissy, let's play a game. Selected. No, you can't say those words. One of us is going to die now. What game? What? You need to choose a game. You need to choose one you're good at. So that you can live. No, I don't want you to die. Sissy, just choose a game. Okay, how about we draw toothpicks? Whoever chooses the shortest stick loses. This is a game of luck. You're supposed to choose a game you're good at. I don't know what game I'm good at. You choose first. I got the short stick. Wait. Let's play a game. I want to make a deal with you. If I win the game, you spare my little sister. But if I lose, you kill us both and you get double the prize money. Deal. What game are we playing? Happy birthday. Ready to find out your sweetheart? What's a sweetheart? It's your soulmate. It's who you're going to love forever. <gasps> Prince Licorice? What's wrong? Nothing, Lolly. We'll handle everything. Don't worry. Please, can I meet him? No, Lord Licorice is a very evil man, and I'm sure his son is no better. Exactly. But he's my sweetheart. Nope. The system must have made a mistake. Well, hello, my dear. Who are you? You don't know who I am? You really don't get out much, do you? My parents never let me leave the castle. I see. Well, I'm actually a friend of your father's, and I've brought you a gift. Is this happy? Why, yes. This is my favorite. Try it. Good, isn't it? What's the matter? Mm. 
too sticky. Sorry, princess, but I can't have you alerting the guards. I'm going to bring you to meet my son. Son, look who I've brought you. Is that... King Candy's daughter? Yes, indeed. Why are her hands tied? She's very feisty, but I'm sure she's happy to see you. Are you? Mm. Mm. Oh, she can't talk. I gave her the sticky taffy. Dad! There, now you're free. Drink this. It'll dissolve the taffy. It'll take a few seconds to work. Thanks. I'll give you two some alone time. It's really nice to meet you, Lolly. My name is Prince Licorice, but you can call me Luke. Well, I want to go home, Luke. Please stay. I want to get to know you. No, your dad creeps me out, and I don't think I can trust you guys. Lolly, I'm not like my dad, I swear. No, I want to go home, and that's an order. Fine, as you wish. Listen, it's going to be a long journey for you. You're not going to escort me back? No way. My dad would freak. So I have to walk through Candyland all alone? Forget it. I don't need you. I can handle myself. Candyland is a very dangerous place, especially for a dainty princess like you. I am not dainty. Well, you sure are stubborn. Goodbye, Luke. Hey, we're supposed to be together. You're my sweetheart. Well, having me kidnapped wasn't very sweet. That wasn't my idea. Whatever. Just go. I don't even care anymore. Ugh. What is this stuff? Chocolate swamp? Uh-oh. Oh, this stuff is like quicksand. What do I do? Wait, I think my lollipop still has a little bit of magic in it, so maybe I can turn this into hard chocolate instead. <gasps> it's working. What are you doing in my swamp? Um, I was just leaving, sir. Hey! What is this place? Princess? Are you lost? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, no. Here, have some cotton candy. Thank you. This is so good. Glad you like it. <laughs> How do you feel? Good. Perfect. You should spend the night here. Okay. <laughs> the king is going to pay a lot of money to get you back. Here, have some more. Let her go. Prince Licorice, what are you doing here? I'm saving her from you. That's my sweetheart. Isn't he handsome? Hand her over, or else... You think I'm handsome? How could I not think you're handsome? Just look at how big your muscles are. <laughs> how much cotton candy did you have? A lot. I'm sorry, Prince Licorice. I didn't realize she was your sweetheart. Please don't tell your father I did this. We won't have a problem as long as you let us leave. Let's go, Lolly. Bye. How you doing? Better. I didn't realize that the cotton candy made you loopy. Listen, I'm sorry for getting mad at you. You really didn't do anything wrong. Nah, you're good. I'm sorry, too. So you think I have big muscles, huh? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we should start walking back. There she is. Seize him. Arrest him. Now. Get off of me. He didn't do anything wrong. Get her to safety. Luke. Mom, Dad, you have to let him go. He was an accomplice to your kidnapping. Even though he's your sweetheart, he has to pay a price for that. No, he was the one that rescued me. What? He did. Yes, I've been trying to tell you. He was the one who saved me from the cotton candy fairy. Honey, we need to release him. Lord Licorice took my daughter. I say we keep his son. Dad, that isn't the way. She's right. You two need to make amends. Thanks for getting me released. Of course. It's the least I can do. I'm really happy our parents are getting along now. I'm so glad, too. I need to ask you something. Lolly, will you make me the happiest man in Candyland and marry me? Yes. Everyone, we're engaged. Aw, oh, congrats, sweetheart. Just look at that ring. Congratulations. Lolly, I couldn't have asked for a better soulmate. Mm -hmm. Hey, how many years did I get? You, you got infinity. Yay me! No, honey, that's not good. You're going to live long after everyone you know and love is gone. Hey, Brianna, something came in the mail for you. What's the letter for? Anything interesting? It's a invitation to another funeral. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. I'm used to it by now. Now, what is a lovely lady like you doing sitting here all by herself? I'm just waiting for the bus. How about I take you out on a date? What do you think? I don't date. I don't get attached to anyone nowadays, actually. All right, suit yourself. Have a lovely day. Wait. That mark on your neck. It's the same as mine. That mark on your neck. It's the same as mine.
So now you're interested in a date. I finally have someone to keep me company for all eternity. You'll never have to be lonely again. <laughs> Who's that? Oh no, that's the local years thief. She steals people's years. She can do that? She can. She's a witch. Run! I think we lost her. We should be safe here. <laughs> no! How could you? He's all I had. <laughs> Wait, don't go. Take my years. I don't want to live anymore. Mom, what's on my face? Oh no, you got an X. You need to cover it and put a check mark right away or else they're going to get you. Who? Oh, thank goodness you're safe. You got a check mark. I've located an X. Please don't do this. Everyone report immediately for your symbol check. So, what happens if you have an X? Those with X's are eliminated to stop overpopulation. You're only safe if you have a check mark. Next, please. I'm next. Don't worry. You have a check mark. You'll be fine. You're good. Next. I said next. Are you crazy? What are you doing here? Why would you go online knowing you have an X? I thought maybe I wouldn't get caught. Of course you would get caught. Who are you? You have an X too? So, where are you taking me? This is the X's hiding spot. I made it my personal duty to protect all X's. Wow, you're pretty heroic. Excuse me, miss. May I sit here? Yes, of course you can. Why would she have an X? She's just a baby. The X's were given at random. No reason and no sympathy. Oh no, they found us. We have to leave immediately. Hey, ugly. Excuse me? Why would you say that? I'm sorry. It was for a task. I'm in the 90s now. I thought so. Good luck. I hear the last 10 tasks are impossible. Hey, girl. Hey. Ah! Did you hear what Tom did? What? No. His 95th task was to stab someone, and they ended up in the hospital severely injured. The whole school's in the 90s now. It's about to get very dangerous here. It's really dangerous here. Let's go somewhere private and talk. Yeah, sure. No one's around. I think we'll be safe here. Yeah. So, what did you need to talk about? I'm so sorry I have to do this. What are you doing? I have to do this. I have to kill you. I only have two tasks left. That money is mine. No! I'm so sorry. I'll call you an ambulance. I'm not going anywhere until I finish my task. Well, I've made it this far. Skip school or stay home? My mom wouldn't let me stay home if I wanted to, so... Hey, Mom, can you give me a ride to school? Sure, honey, I'll start the car. On second thought, I'll walk. Thank goodness, you could lose a couple pounds. Yeah, that's a great point. Thank you so much for bringing that up, Mom. Thank you. Hey, Giselle, do you want to go on a date with me? Jake? Seriously? I've had a crush on you since forever. So, do you want to go? I can't. I'm busy that night. I didn't even tell you which night. Yeah, I'm busy all nights. Hey, girl, do you want to come to the mall with us? <laughs> For once, a good option is free. Yeah. You guys, I just found this giant Squishmallow. Are you going to buy it? Of course I am. It's a great investment. Your gems. What? You guys, I just found this giant Squishmallow. Are you going to buy it? Of course I am. It's a great investment. Giselle, your gems. What? You have a million gems. But how is that possible? It went up when you bought the Squishmallow. Am I being punked? Mom, I'm home. What's that? Oh, this? This is my new giant Squishmallow. How many gems did you spend on that stupid Excuse thing? Excuse me? Squishmallows are not stupid. And she was only 10 gems. Do you really have 10 gems to waste? As a matter of fact, I do. I have a million. Here, I'll send you 100,000. Honey, where did you get that? Stop asking questions, Mom. You're welcome. 
Oh, someone's at the door. I'll get it. Hello, may I help you? Are you Giselle? Yeah. You're under arrest for the possession of stolen gems. Hey, Mom. Oh, my gosh, your glasses are so cute. Can I try them? Yeah, of course, honey. Here. No way. You used to be a stripper. What? Don't judge me. I'm not judging. Get that back, sis. Giselle, hold my hat. Okay. I was so high, I Shut I up. You went to jail, but you're only 16. Uh, how do you know about that? It's a secret. Damn, it's so cold in here. Do you want to borrow my jacket? Yeah, that's great. Thank you. You know what? On second thought, I'm fine. And thank you so much for reminding me to close my blinds. Ugh, my hair is so annoying. Jessica, do you have a scrunchie for me? Yeah, you're in luck. Great, thank you. Mr. Fit? Ugh, my hair is so annoying. Hey, Jessica, do you have a scrunchie for me? Yeah, you're in luck. Thanks. Mr. Fitz? You know about that? You're secretly dating Mr. Fitz? Giselle, keep your voice down. Do you know how much trouble you could get in? You could get expelled and he could be thrown in jail. Well, none of that will happen if you just keep your mouth shut. Yeah, don't worry. Your dirty little secret is safe with me. I can't believe I have to sit in a classroom every day knowing my teacher is in a relationship with my best friend. Miss Giselle, can I talk to you for a second? Um, yeah, of course, Mr. Fitz. Alone. Um, okay. So why did you want to see me? You look cold. Put on my jacket. You freaking per- I can't believe you're failing math. What is this? You are an absolute foul daughter, an embarrassment to this bit. I've had enough of that. So class, when 1 plus 1 equals 4, you multiply by 6 and carry the A to the B. I need a nap to process this information. You know, it wouldn't hurt to have a look around. What's this? <gasps> this is all the answers! How did you do so well in math today? I guess you could say I am a math wizard. You are literally terrible at math. Hold that thought. Kevin's coming. Hey, why'd you pause it? How can you... I saw what you did in math today. What? How did you see me steal the answers? I was paused. And how are you talking to me right now? I'm paused. I don't know how or why, but I have the same ability as you. Also, I need those answers for math. What? No, I'm failing. I have a picture of you stealing the book. Give it to me or I'm going to report you. Fine. Where did Kevin go? He was just here. Kevin's stupid and I don't like him anymore. Kevin. Kevin! So, Kevin, I thought maybe if you wanted to be a nice guy, we could share the answers. Of course we can, for $50. Deal. Homework is all done. Code red, code red. There is an unknown stranger in the building. This is not a drill. Oh, my goodness. What are we going to do? Everyone, quickly, hide. Hey, why'd you pause it? Come on, Kevin. You and I are going to go find this jerk. No, I'm not going. Let's wait for the police. Yeah, and by the time the police gets here, who knows what damage he could do? You can't play hero. This is real life. Fine. Suit yourself. <clears throat> Coward. Hey, wait! Where is that jerk? I see someone over there. Come quick. That's the guy. I don't understand. He's still moving around. How is that possible? We're paused. We should go back. He must have the same ability as us. It's not safe here. No way. I'm going to- It's you two. You're the ones I've been looking for. Come with me. Police! Police, are you? I'm not paused anymore. I don't hear any sirens. Calm down. I mean no harm. I've been sent here to protect you two. Protect us from what? There's people after you two. The ability you were given is very rare. Only a handful of people have it. They want to use you. What? Main character's best friend? I am definitely main character material. Hey, bestie! Looks like you're the main character. 
and I'm just your sidekick. No way, you're way more than that. These roles are ridiculous. The roles for the school play are out. Ensemble. Oh my goodness, I got the lead. Yeah, of course you did. Bestie, look over there, it's Brad, head of the school football team. He is so dreamy. Did you see his role? It's the main character's love interest. It is? Yeah, but don't worry, I don't even like him. Really? I'm gonna go talk to him. Hey, Brad. Who are you? Here, give my number to your friend over there. She's beautiful. Sure. How'd it go? Great, he gave me his number. Nice, I'm going to practice. Wait, can I do your makeup first? Makeup's almost done, just one final touch. I put something special in this just for you. It's burning really bad. Yeah, it's supposed to do that. I can't believe I just did that. I really let the jealousy get the better of me. What? Villain? I am not the villain. Hey, did you hear? Angela's in the hospital. They found poison in her system. That means she's still... Uh, I'm... Is, is she okay? Yeah, they said she's gonna make a full recovery. We should all go visit her in the hospital. No! I'll go alone. I'm her best friend. Angela, how are you doing? I brought you some chocolate. You. It's you. I know what you did.
Happy birthday! Wow! A gummy bear! Thank you! There's one more gift for you. Who's it from? There was no name. It's blank. Happy birthday! Thank you! Now there's one more gift. Another card. Does it say who it's from? It doesn't say anything. It's another blank card. Happy Sweet Sixteen! Thank you. Let me guess. Another blank card? Yes. It's the same one as always. Who would do that? Every single year. Happy birthday! Ooh, you got a card? Who's it from? I don't know. Every year on my birthday since I was 10, I've received a blank card in the mail. That's kind of creepy. Wait a minute. White ink. There's something written in this card. White ink. These cards aren't blank. There's something written in them. My papa reads encrypted messages for a living. We can take the cards to him and find out what they say. What do you have for me? This is the first card I received when I was 10. Ah, uh, yes. Find me where the flowers grow. I'm in the garden down below. That doesn't make sense. What is it, some kind of riddle? Maybe we'll understand if we read all the cards. This is the second card. X, Y, Z, X, B. That is the key to set me free. Do you have a pencil? Here. What are you doing? I'm writing it down. It must be some kind of code. This is the third card. The place I am you have in your memory. We used to play there before you were stolen from me. Wait a minute. I know the place. Bye, Mom. I'm off to school. Aren't you going to school? I'm trying. What in the world? Hmm. Play. Here's the exam. It should take you about three hours to complete it. No, if only I could fast forward it. Oh, wait. I can. I got my exam. That's impossible. That only took you 1.2 seconds. Yeah, I'm just super smart. Hmm, let's try the up button. Oh, oh, oh. I can fly. Wow, that is so crazy. There's just one more I haven't tried. Pop. Pop. Help! Help! I'm paused, I can't move. You seem fine, you're still talking. Yeah, but my body can't move. Whoa, why did controls just appear above your head? Oh, you can see them? Okay, press play for me. And why should I? Please. I don't know if a please is good enough. Pretty please? All right, play. <sighs> Brianna, hurry, you're going to miss the bus. Oh, don't worry, I'll just run home. Run home? Your house is a two-hour walk from here. It's okay, I'll just fast forward myself. <laughs> Hi, Mom, I'm home. That was quick, school just ended. I know, I ran really fast. Good morning, Mom, I'm off to school. What the? Aw, you're so silly putting stickers on your face. <laughs> no, you killed your big sister. You can't ever laugh. It kills people. Look what you've done. Dizzy. Here, before coming into the classroom, you must put this tape over your mouth. Why? It's a precaution issued by the school board as kids are the highest risk for laughter. I don't want to wear the tape anymore. You must wear it. <laughs> He didn't do it on purpose. Listen, kid. I saved your life. You could have died. You should be thanking me. Mommy, you forgot to pick me up from school. Good evening. Police officer. There was an incident of laughing at your mother's work. She didn't make it. Stop laughing. <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> What's going on here? You killed <laughs> Officer Brad. <laughs> Uh-oh. We're going to need backup. Did you hear? She killed three police officers when she was seven. You know I can hear you, right? I was just a kid. I was traumatized from my mom just passing away. I couldn't control it. You're a murderer. A psycho. I can't listen to this any longer. Hey, are you okay? I can't believe what they're saying about you. I need to do it. Want to hang out after school? There's somewhere I want to show you. We're almost there. Where are you taking me? We're here. In the middle of nowhere? You know those three police officers you killed? One of them was my dad. <laughs> Sissy! Oh no. 
Ellie? Sissy? Ellie? Did they lock you in the cabinet? Hurry, I'm losing oxygen. No, this better be the one. Ellie? I'm so glad you found me. It was so scary. They took me and hid me in the cabinet. This game is sick. Brianna, why do you look so down today? My little sister was chosen to be hidden this morning. I almost didn't find her in time. How about we make a pact? Pinkie promised that if either of us gets hidden, we'll find each other. Pinkie promised. It's your turn to be hidden. It's your turn to hide. Get in there. Where did they lock me? Help! Help! I was chosen to play hide and seek. Please, someone find me! Help! I don't have much time left. Help! Jake! Did you call my name? Jake, you found me. Of course I did. I promised you. I can't believe they locked you in a locker. It was awful. Well, it's a good thing I found you in time. You're the best, Jake. Girl, there you are. I was wondering what happened to you. You weren't in class. I got chosen to play hide and seek. Luckily, Jake was there to save me. Hey, it was nothing. I'll catch you later. Catch you later, Jake. Wait, you dropped this. Happy birthday. Ready to find out your sweetheart? What's a sweetheart? It's your soulmate. It's who you're going to love forever. <gasps> Prince Licorice? What's wrong? Nothing, Lolly. We'll handle everything. Don't worry. Please, can I meet him? No, Lord Licorice is a very evil man, and I'm sure his son is no better. Exactly. But he's my sweetheart. Nope. The system must have made a mistake. Well, hello, my dear. Who are you? You don't know who I am? You really don't get out much, do you? My parents never let me leave the castle. I see. Well, I'm actually a friend of your father's, and I've brought you a gift. Is this happy? Why, yes. This is my favorite. Try it. Good, isn't it? What's the matter? Mm. Too sticky? Sorry, princess, but I can't have you alerting the guards. I'm going to bring you to meet my son. Son, look who I've brought you. Is that? King Candy's daughter? Yes, indeed. Why are her hands tied? She's very feisty, but I'm sure she's happy to see you. Are you? Mm. Mm. Oh, she can't talk. I gave her the sticky taffy. Dad, there, now you're free. Drink this. It'll dissolve the taff. It'll take a few seconds to work. Thanks. I'll give you two some alone time. It's really nice to meet you, Lolly. My name is Prince Licorice, but you can call me Luke. Well, I want to go home, Luke. Please stay. I want to get to know you. No, your dad creeps me out, and I don't think I can trust you guys. Lolly, I'm not like my dad, I swear. No, I want to go home, and that's an order. Fine, as you wish. Listen, it's going to be a long journey for you. You're not going to escort me back? No way. My dad would freak. So I have to walk through Candyland all alone? Forget it. I don't need you. I can handle myself. Candyland is a very dangerous place, especially for a dainty princess like you. I am not dainty. Well, you sure are stubborn. Goodbye, Luke. Hey, we're supposed to be together. You're my sweetheart. Well, having me kidnapped wasn't very sweet. That wasn't my idea. Whatever. Just go. I don't even care anymore. Ugh. What is this stuff? Chocolate swamp? Uh-oh. Oh, this stuff is like quicksand. What do I do? Wait, I think my lollipop still has a little bit of magic in it, so maybe I can turn this into hard chocolate instead. <gasps> It's working. What are you doing in my swamp? Um, I was just leaving, sir. Hey! What is this place? Princess? Are you lost? Yeah, a little bit. Oh no, here, have some cotton candy. Thank you. This is so good. Glad you like it. <laughs> How do you feel? Good. Perfect. You should spend the night here. Okay. <laughs> the king is going to pay a lot of money to get you back. Here, have some more. Let her go. Prince Licorice, what are you doing here? I'm saving her from you. That's my sweetheart. Isn't he handsome? Hand her over, or else... You think I'm handsome? How could I not think you're handsome? Just look at how big your muscles are. <laughs> how much cotton candy did you have? A lot. 
I'm sorry, Prince Licorice. I didn't realize she was your sweetheart. Please don't tell your father I did this. We won't have a problem as long as you let us leave. Let's go, Lolly. Bye. How you doing? Better. I didn't realize that the cotton candy made you loopy. Listen, I'm sorry for getting mad at you. You really didn't do anything wrong. Nah, you're good. I'm sorry, too. So you think I have big muscles, huh? Shut up. <laughs> we should start walking back. There she is! Seize him! Arrest him, now! Get off of me! He didn't do anything wrong. Get her to safety. Luke! Mom, Dad, you have to let him go. He was an accomplice to your kidnapping. Even though he's your sweetheart, he has to pay a price for that. No, he was the one that rescued me. What? He did. Yes, I've been trying to tell you. He was the one who saved me from the cotton candy fairy. Honey, we need to release him. Lord Licorice took my daughter. I say we keep his son. Dad, that isn't the way. She's right. You two need to make amends. Thanks for getting me released. Of course. It's the least I can do. I'm really happy our parents are getting along now. I'm so glad too. I need to ask you something. Lolly, will you make me the happiest man in Candyland and... Marry me? Yes. Everyone, we're engaged. Aw, oh, congrats, sweetheart. Just look at that ring. Congratulations. Molly, I couldn't have asked for a better soulmate. Mm -hmm. I get to pick whether I'm going to have a baby brother or a baby sister? Pick sister. But I want a baby brother. Are you the one delivering the baby? No. Then pick sister. Fine. She's here. Hi. Shh, no, don't cry. It's okay. Give her to me. You're holding her wrong. Hey, what are you doing? Your little sister needs toys. You're way too old for that anyways. Ready? Catch. Ow! I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit you in the eye. <laughs> My baby. What did you do to her? It was an accident. <laughs> yeah, right. You know what? Go to your room. Your sister needs a blood transfusion. What? Yes, it's a really long story, but I told them you would donate your blood. Come on, we gotta go to the hospital now. Wait! You need to donate your blood to your little sister. Come on, we have to get to the hospital now. Wait! Okay, honey, let me see your arm. Samantha! I'm sorry, I can't do it. You know I have a fear of needles. Your little sister needs your help, ma'am. We cannot force her. Maybe you want to donate? Yeah, why don't you donate your blood? After all, she's your favorite. Okay, I'll remember this. Mommy and I are going on vacation. What about me? You're staying here. You have school. We'll only be gone for two weeks or so. Two weeks? But what about food and- You can drive, and here's money for food. Now say bye, sissy. Bye, sissy. I used up all the money mom gave me for gas for school, and now I'm starving, and there's nothing to eat. Sorry you missed me. Leave a message after the beep. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Officer Bloom. Your neighbors have reported this house. Are your parents home, sweetheart? Why did my neighbors report my house? My report says that they heard a young female crying for over an hour. What's the matter, sweetheart? My mom, she went on vacation with my little sister, but she's not answering. Okay, how about your dad? We're not really in contact with him anymore. Listen, you're not in trouble, but would it be okay if I take a look inside your house? That's our pantry. This is all baby food. Yeah, so all that stuff is for my baby sister. Alright, but what about your food? I gotta report this then. Wait, um, is my mom gonna get in trouble? Because if that's the case, I take back what I said. She did leave me, like, a little bit of money for food. Relax, everything's gonna be okay. Officer, I can assure you I am not neglecting my daughter. Do you think I could have a word with her alone? Go right ahead. You called the cops on me? I'm sorry, I didn't. The neighbors did because- Shh. Do you want to take care of your baby sister by yourself? Then tell the cop what I tell you to say. You're going to tell the cop exactly what I say. You sure you're okay? Yeah. Everything's fine. Sissy, you wanna play? Not right now, okay? <laughs> Mommy, Sissy's being mean to me. She is. <sighs> I wasn't. I was just telling her that I didn't want to play right now. Baby, go watch Coco Melon. I'm gonna talk to Samantha. Honey? What? I got in contact with your father. No, you didn't. Yes, Samantha, I did, and he has kindly offered to let you live with him. No, Mom, I don't want to go live with him. He's expecting you. Come on, we have to go. No, I haven't talked to him in a long time. I'm not going. Fine. Samantha, dinner's ready. I'm not hungry. Well, that's not what you told the cop, now is it? 
You said I don't feed you, so here's your food. Is it good, Samantha? Good. Mom? Yeah? I, um, I don't really feel so good. Why is Sissy sleeping? Because we're going on a road trip. Mom, where are we going? Mommy, Sissy's talking to you. Sissy needs to rest, honey. Just ignore her and watch your show. <gasps> Coco Melon! Hello? We're here. Okay, there's your daughter. Go ahead and carry her inside. Karen, she's 17. I'll just wake her up. Come on, Samantha. Hey, wake up. Let's go inside. What the hell is wrong with her? Look, she wasn't gonna come, so I... Karen, are you kidding? Mommy, who's dad? He's no one, honey. Just watch your show. Actually, sweetheart, I'm your father, and you guys are coming with me. No, Daniel, we agreed you take Samantha and I keep Susie. Besides, you left us because you didn't want kids anymore. Well, now I'm changing my mind after seeing what you do to Samantha. No. Yes, I want my daughters back. You can have one. How about none? Because I called the police. You what? Patty cake, patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Girls, I just wanted to say thank you for giving me a second chance. Yeah, you know, ever since mom has been out of the picture, I've actually really appreciated the fact that I chose to have a baby sister. I love you, sissy. I love you too. Aw, group hug. Happy birthday, darling. How many days do you have, darling? Only three days. No, we must find you a husband at once. Ready to choose? No, this isn't fair. I don't know any of these men. You can get to know them after you've been wed. Now pick one. All right, let's see. Not him, but definitely not him. What? Next. But I. And let me guess, this one has a great personality. <laughs> you have offended all the princes. Wow, that was one brutal elimination. And who might you be? Prince Nathaniel. But don't worry. I'm not here to ask you for your hand in marriage. Then why are you here? Mostly for entertainment. Aren't you from the rival kingdom? Indeed I am, and I can't wait to tell my father how hot-headed your daughter is. Aubrey, don't. All the princes rejected you. Good, I do not wish to marry any of them. If you do not wed in three days, you shall die. Are you certain that if I don't marry in three days, I shall die? Yes. You have to say yes to the first man who proposes. No, that isn't fair. Life isn't fair, darling. I can't do this. You must. I will not lose you like I lost your father. You must find a husband. Do you understand? Oh, mother, I think my corset is a bit too tight. Aubrey, to meet a good suitor, you must look as fitted as possible. Hello, princess. Would you care to dance? That was fun. Shall we dance again? Oh, actually, I'm a bit thirsty. Say no more. I shall fetch you a drink, your highness. Pardon me. I didn't mean to startle you. You weren't invited. The invitation said all eligible princes were welcome. Are you all right? My corset, it's... it's too tight. My corset, it's... it's too tight. Hang on, I'll help you. Is that better? Yes, thank you. Princess? What exactly was happening over here? It is not what it looks like. I was simply helping her with her dress. You two were being scandalous. No! We don't even like each other. I'm so telling everyone. You can't just go around spreading rumors about us. Hmm. You could marry her and restore your dignity, or... Is there a second option? You could also pay me to keep quiet. Mm -hmm. I can't believe we paid her so much money. This is all your fault. My fault? You're the one who- Princess, there you are. I must ask you a question. Will you, Princess Aubrey, marry me? I- Your mother insisted I ask you tonight. So, what do you say, Princess? Yes. Excellent, we shall be married tomorrow and you shall be saved from death. Nathaniel, why are you here? I came to congratulate you on your engagement. You know, for a guy who doesn't like me, you sure show up at my palace a lot. Are you implying that I might have feelings for you? I would do no such thing, your highness, unless, of course, it was true. I think you've mistaken my generosity for affection. You are far from generous. Oh, really? Yes, really. I'll have you know I can be very generous. All right, then prove it. All right, I will. You kissed me. I... I would never. I am a gentleman.
A gentleman does not kiss another man's bride. You have to marry me. No, Aubrey, I can't. Is it because we are rivals? No. I have to go. Now, after we are wed, I want the princess taken care of. I shall pay for you to do this. We have postponed the wedding long enough. He is trying to kill me. Enough of your nonsense. You shall be married tonight. And do you take Prince Frederick to be your husband? I... Stop the wedding. That man is a fraud. Nathaniel, someone get this fool out of here. The only fool here is you. Prince Frederick is not who he claims to be. In fact, he's not a prince at all. It's true. You were just using her to become royalty. No! I am a man of honor. No, Frederick. What you are is a word I dare not say in front of the queen. Aubrey, I'm so sorry. You are almost out of time. Who shall you marry? Marry me. But I thought... I made a vow to never marry because I didn't believe in love. That was until... Until what? Until I met you. So I ask you, Aubrey, will you join our kingdoms together and marry me? Yes. I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss. I get to pick whether I'm going to have a baby brother or a baby sister? Pick sister. But I want a baby brother. Are you the one delivering the baby? No. Then pick sister. Fine. She's here. Hi. Shh, no, don't cry. It's okay. Give her to me. You're holding her wrong. Hey, what are you doing? Your little sister needs toys. You're way too old for that anyways. Ready? Catch. Ow! I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit you in the eye. <laughs> My baby. What did you do to her? It was an accident. <laughs> yeah, right. You know what? Go to your room. Your sister needs a blood transfusion. What? Yes, it's a really long story, but I told them you would donate your blood. Come on, we gotta go to the hospital now. Wait! You need to donate your blood to your little sister. Come on, we have to get to the hospital now. Wait! Okay, honey, let me see your arm. Samantha! I'm sorry, I can't do it. You know I have a fear of needles. Your little sister needs your help, ma'am. We cannot force her. Maybe you want to donate? Yeah, why don't you donate your blood? After all, she's your favorite. Okay, I'll remember this. Mommy and I are going on vacation. What about me? You're staying here, you have school. We'll only be gone for two weeks or so. Two weeks? But what about food and- You can drive, and here's money for food. Now say bye, sissy. Bye, sissy. I used up all the money mom gave me for gas for school, and now I'm starving, and there's nothing to eat. Sorry you missed me. Leave a message after the beep. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Officer Bloom. Your neighbors have reported this house. Are your parents home, sweetheart? Why did my neighbors report my house? My report says that they heard a young female crying for over an hour. What's the matter, sweetheart? My mom, she went on vacation with my little sister, but she's not answering. Okay, how about your dad? We're not really in contact with him anymore. Listen, you're not in trouble, but would it be okay if I take a look inside your house? That's our pantry. This is all baby food. Yeah, so all that stuff is for my baby sister. Alright, but what about your food? I gotta report this then. Wait, um, is my mom gonna get in trouble? Because if that's the case, I take back what I said. She did leave me like a little bit of money for food. Relax, everything's gonna be okay. Officer, I can assure you I am not neglecting my daughter. Do you think I could have a word with her alone? Go right ahead. You called the cops on me? I'm sorry, I didn't. The neighbors did because- Shh. Do you want to take care of your baby sister by yourself? Then tell the cop what I tell you to say. You're going to tell the cop exactly what I say. You sure you're okay? Yeah. Everything's fine. Sissy, you want to play? Not right now, okay? <laughs> Mommy. Sissy's being mean to me. She is. I wasn't. I was just telling her that I didn't want to play right now. Baby, go watch Coco Melon. I'm going to talk to Samantha. Honey? What? I got in contact with your father. No, you didn't. Yes, Samantha, I did. And he has kindly offered to let you live with him. No, Mom. I don't want to go live with him. He's expecting you. Come on, we have to go. No, I haven't talked to him in a long time. I'm not going. Fine. Samantha, dinner's ready. I'm not hungry. Well, that's not what you told the cop, now is it? You said I don't feed you, so here's your food. Is it good, Samantha? Good. Mom? Yeah? 
I, um, I don't really feel so good. Why is Sissy sleeping? Because we're going on a road trip. Mom, where are we going? Mommy, Sissy's talking to you. Sissy needs to rest, honey. Just ignore her and watch your show. <gasps> Coco Melon! Hello? We're here. Okay, there's your daughter. Go ahead and carry her inside. Karen, she's 17. I'll just wake her up. Come on, Samantha. Hey, wake up. Let's go inside. What the hell is wrong with her? Look, she wasn't gonna come, so I... Karen, are you kidding? Mommy, who's that? He's no one, honey. Just watch your show. Actually, sweetheart, I'm your father, and you guys are coming with me. No, Daniel, we agreed. You take Samantha, and I keep Susie. Besides, you left us because you didn't want kids anymore. Well, now I'm changing my mind after seeing what you do to Samantha. No. Yes, I want my daughters back. You can have one. How about none? Because I called the police. You what? Patty cake, patty cake, patty cake bake first men. men. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Girls, I just wanted to say thank you for giving me a second chance. Yeah, you know, ever since mom has been out of the picture, I've actually really appreciated the fact that I chose to have a baby sister. I love you, sissy. I love you too. Aw, group hug. <laughs>